Increase transparency. Facebook. Sharing. Rapid. Accessibility. Westernization. Press conferences. The BBC. Twitter. Fast communication. Fast. Sudden. You don't have to be a professional today. Americanization. Lies. YouTube. The Super Bowl. A shrinking world. I think of Entertainment 720 from Parks and Rec. Hollywood. Cultural biases. Degradation of culture. Arc. Power. Documentaries. Revolution. Inevitable. The influence. McDonald's. Social media. China. Education. Sonica. Newsfeed. Internet. Social network. Computers. Newspapers. Control. Internet. The Arab Spring. Shrinks the world. Rapid communication. The Harlem Shake. CNN. Skewed perspective. Reality TV. News. Sharing music. Reddit. International relations. I would say increase transparency in the uh, you know transfer and sharing of information across cultures. I think it could be very beneficial for both cultures to understand how the other how each other works. Um, but I say kind of a negative to that could be a loss of cultural heritage if one culture is dominating the other through media, such as the Westernized nations dominating the Eastern nations, could be a future problem with globalization of media. A positive is a general global awareness, um, but a negative would be. Uh, the set perspectives that people have can cause just a general cultural misunderstanding. I think a negative aspect is that it dilutes cultural traditions. So these, these, uh, these messages that travel can be very destabilizing. Uh, as in the case, say, of rumors that get into the mill, uh, one person sends to an alias with a thousand email addresses and then they, they proliferate into another thousand per email and you got a million emails traveling the world and you can get a quick disturbance. You can get movements in stock markets, you can get movements uh, of demonstrations at embassies, stairways and doorways. It's not hard to create disturbance. On the other hand, it can be stabilizing or it can be um, progressive in the sense it helps people stay organized and be organized as a, as a, a group of, of people trying to be democratic, trying to be um, solid in their, in their support of some idea or some candidate or some um, progressive venture in countries. I think the Arab Spring would be an instance of that where Twitter and uh, email and the different electronic outlets have provided people a chance to coordinate and assemble successfully in something about revolution. One positive aspect about media and globalization is that continents come closer together because of the internet and it's easier to contact people on other continents. I think a negative of media globalization is the homogenization of less dominant cultures. I think a positive is increased visibility for human rights violations. One positive aspect of the greater media communication is uh, greater knowledge about different cultures and learning about different uh, people around the world. And a negative aspect of this is also um, straying away from personal communication um, and, lean and relying more on media like TV, computers, that sort of thing. Hegemony, the dominance of leadership of one social group or nation over others. And that is, that is actually what's happening in media, you know, said globalization takes over, uh, we, we become one thinker, one consciousness as they say, but with the downside that we all begin to think alike. So we all have to watch the Super Bowl, we not really, but you know, that's the discourse when you get together with friends and you talk about reality TV shows. And that's not a problem here. The problem is that when you're abroad, you're supposed to watch that as well. And it becomes part of this fabric of globalization, which destroys pretty much uh, culture in the local sense. Media today is by far one of the most, if not the most powerful controlling device uh, that
that has access to the means right now. So the, the more control you have over media, the more power you accumulate. I would say one of the main problems with media today is that uh, in, in, in contemporary in theoretical discourse, the, the principle is rather simple. Media, I mean, perception is reality. And the issue is that media defines how we perceive that reality. One positive I would say is that I think it promotes a more global sense of awareness of other cultures and sort of a unifying ability to make peace a bit more easily. I think a lot of conflicts in past years have been over really simple things that were communication methods a bit more effective and easier to utilize. I think a lot of conflicts could have been solved without the use of weaponry or large battles or warfare of any kind. I think that media communication has hindered our ability to communicate with people on a personal level because we are doing everything through the phone or through the computer and it's not face-to-face -face anymore.